Hello everyone, Vanessa here. Welcome to another episode of Unlearning Math with me. For today, we discuss the concept of speed. And in this particular question, it's a case whereby the subjects start from opposite sides and travel towards each other. So let's take a look. Andy left school A and walked towards school B at a speed of 90 meters per minute. At the same time, Benny and Kelvin started from school B and walked towards school A at a speed of 85 meters per minute and 70 meters per minute, respectively. The three boys did not change their speed throughout their journeys, given that Andy met Kelvin three minutes after passing Benny. What was the distance between school A and school B? So we start off with drawing the distance line to visualize the problem. And of course, for this, uh, I can use the animations to further enhance the understanding here. So school A and school B. So Andy, 90 meters per minute. Benny, 85 meters per minute. Calvin, 70 meters per minute. Given that Andy met Calvin three minutes after passing Benny. So Andy met Benny first. Okay, so at this point, as you can see, this is the distance covered by Andy, and this is the distance covered by Benny. So when you add up these two distance, you realize it's actually the distance of the schools, right? And then we know that this is the difference in distance between Benny and Kelvin. So we know that Benny was some distance ahead of Kelvin. Why? Because he was faster. Okay, so now we were told that after passing Benny, Andy would have to travel for another three minutes before meeting Kelvin. So three minutes later, yes, this is how they would like. So again, as you see, the distance covered by Andy and the distance covered by Kelvin. The combined distance is actually equal to their difference in distance between Benny and Calvin earlier on, right? So are we able to work out this difference in distance between Benny and Calvin earlier on when they, uh, or rather when Andy met Benny? So remember that? So here we know that it was three minutes later. So I will take 90 times three and then plus 70 times so in total, the distance is 480 meters, right? So right now, we know that when Andy met Benny, Benny was 480 meters ahead of Kelvin. So let's now go back in time when this happened. Okay, so this is the stage where Benny was 480 meters ahead of Calvin. You see that? And they started off at the same time, at the same place, towards the same direction. You can see that the difference in speed between this Benny and Calvin was 15 meters per minute. Meaning to say that every one minute, Benny would be 15 meters ahead of Calvin. So my next question is, how long would it take for Benny to be 480 meters ahead of Calvin? Simple, isn't it? You will take 480 divided by 15, and that will give you 32. So we know that 32 minutes later, when Andy met Benny, they covered their total distance. And this total distance, we can take their distances covered by Andy and Benny and add up together. That will give us the distance between the school A and school B. So you take the combined speed of the both Andy and Benny, multiply by 32 minutes. That, give, that will give you 5,600 meters. And then you can actually check your work. Because the, when Andy met Calvin, which was three minutes later, 
okay, they will also con- um, cover the whole distance between school A and school B. So you can take the combined speed of Andy and Calvin, multiply by 35, because it was 3 minutes later. Alright, and you get the same answer, 5,600 meters. Okay, so I hope this tutorial will help you and your understanding for on, on the speed, on the topic of speed. Um, do give me a like if this is beneficial. <laughs> it takes me quite, a, quite some time to do it. Uh, I appreciate the, the, the light and um, do subscribe to this channel. I see if I could actually come up with um, time to do more videos. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.